Okay, and back. Now, if you haven't seen this game as well, this game is also a doozy. I also have DLC for this game. It's called Inheritance. And I don't think I've done everything with Inheritance. And like I said, this game is not going to be like Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. This is going to be more like Soma. In a way, it's more of like a triple-A game. Whereas these are the games you have to pay for, whereas Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion is free. The DLC is not free, though. But the DLCs are very tiny, so I don't even know if they're really worth the money. But they are pretty good, and they have an interesting story. You know, I guess, maybe. More questions than answers, though, it seems like. I wonder if these pictures take, uh, if these pictures change. It seems like almost every car only has one to four livery options, really. Am I saying that right, DJ? Is it livery or is it livery? Is it supposed to be a long eye or a short eye? Livery just sounds weird. Anyway, let me go ahead and run the ads real quick and I'll be right back. Because I gotta go ahead and... Tweet again. Yeah, 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 get out of here. Was that another Need for Speed game? Damn. I called Need for Speed Unbound or something like that? Weird. Man, I cannot even think about it. Oof. Dang. You say as you write it? Not livery, livery? Okay, okay. Ads are still in progress, guys. Just making sure. If not, if people don't have ads and they can hear me, then welcome to the stream. But it does still say that they are in progress, so I'm just going to wait a little bit. Okay, now we're good. Alright, so let me go ahead and turn that off. And again, if people haven't seen this game, this is also a very interesting game. I'm going to try and take this, like, second thing here. See if it gives me a different painting. Oh, it is a different painting. Nice. So each one of these paintings are different. That's kind of cool. Go for it. So it says it's a unique, immersive experience in which every decision affects the narrative, which is kind of true. As in life, it is the doors you open, the memories you take with you, and the shadows you explore that you will define who you are. This may be our game, but it is your journey. It's a really interesting game, too. If people haven't seen this, there's... By the way, that's Inheritance. So we will get into Inheritance. I can't remember how long this game is. I do want to say it's pretty long, though. And it is... It's less jump scary than... Um, Spookies. Okay, I found a car that has six livery options. Nice. By the way, Game Kid, welcome to the stream. I was going to welcome you, but the ads were on, so I don't know if no you were getting ads or not. Feel. Lost. Alone. Hopeless. You probably deserve it. But even for you, there is still a way. A way to bring it all back. The one precious thing you ever truly desired. Finish it. No ads for me? No, the ads should be done already. Mm. 
Hmm. Guess I'm too special for the ads. <laughs> Sometimes Twitch won't give ads. This is an interesting thing about this game, too. It actually feels like you're breathing. Like, this is without me moving the mouse. You can see, like, the camera kind of moves around and stuff. It makes you feel like you're actually alive. You can do a lot of stuff with this game, too. Like, this? Oh, yes. I'm already remembering the game. Where it's like, man, this is... This is a pretty good game. It's like there's some weirdness to it and whatnot. But other than that, wait, does this have a crouch? Hold on. I do need to know if this has a crouch. Controls. Uh, keyboard mapping. I don't think it does, does it? It has a flashlight for F. And that's pretty much it. Oh god, no. Oh god, I'm remembering one of the rooms in this. Oh no. Again, it's kind of like Soma, where you have to click and hold and move stuff to interact with stuff. Oops. Ah, what do we got here? An artist's triumph. Gallery opening wows critics. We won't read too much about it. Just know that this is a game about an artist. Which makes it seem like it's probably a fantastic game, right? I mean, it's a game about art, but, uh... Yeah. Just wait and see. I actually don't have a flashlight yet. Sir, I didn't touch the workshop, just like you asked. Although I can't imagine the mess that's inside. Also, if you care so much for that room, maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave the keys. I brought them back to your office. Have a nice day. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, if you do spacebar, it'll give you it in text. So, it, just in case you couldn't read it. Some of the text does get a little tricky. Oh shit, one of the cars has the carbon fiber liveries. Nice. That sounds pretty good. See, and you can do it like this. Dear sir, we would like to ask you to cease bothering our pest control specialists, as well as refrain from sending us any more of your highly inappropriate letters. I'll have you know that my mother is a respectable woman and does not take kindly to such accusations. All of our employees that visited your house reported absolutely no signs of a rodent infestation of any kind and as such decided not to act further than a prophylactic spraying. Please treat this letter as a final warning, or else the next envelope you'll receive will be from our lawyers. With best regards, Carl Denton, Pesky Pests Pacification Co. Wow. That is some alliteration. That is some glorious alliteration there. So he's having a rat problem, or he at least thinks he is. I don't know what the hell this is. Dog collar? Something? Hopley? I don't know. Don't know. It has been a very long time since I played this game. So I don't exactly remember everything. So forgive me if I have to do some exploring and stuff. And if anybody has seen this game, please do not spoil. Do not spoil for people who have not seen it. I have already streamed it probably two times, I think. This is another one of those spooky month staples like Soma is. Man, it already does feel a lot like Soma. Except for, you know, it's not, like, futuristic. This isn't going to be futuristic at all. Although it is going to get very surreal. Probably pretty quickly, too. This one, actually, if I remember correctly, it does take a very surreal twist very quickly. Some of the cars has delivery options, some of them don't. Oh, really? Dang. 
Figured you'd be up all night, so I made you a little treat. You know, I bet even Rembrandt occasionally took time off from being brilliant and snored his head off like the rest of us common folk. I know. Gasp. In other words, get some sleep, you big dummy. I love you. I think that might have been the wife. I'm not really sure. He also has a daughter. The daughter is the uh, main character in Inheritance, I think. I cannot see a damn thing. This is so dark. This is what they told me to do, though. I even bum bumped up the gamma a bit. There's probably nothing in there. But it's cool, you can explore the mansion. Is there a light in here? Yes, there is. Good. See? You can, like, open all the drawers, open all the cabinets and everything. What is this? Rat poison. Pains and two. Hmm. That doesn't seem good. Why is this sink on? Maybe we can turn it off. There we go. Don't want to flood the house now. Oh, another light. Nice. Below knee prosthesis. Uh huh. What does it say here? How the hell did they fuck up the length? Okay, well, somebody's angry. You can just kind of get a feel for the game, figure out what you can do and everything. It's a good thing to do the exploring now, because it is going to get very weird and very surreal, like I was saying. It will happen. Jesus Christ, dude. That is a lot of rat traps. The little Vinny and partners. Got a rat problem? Call us now. And forget about it. Hilarious. Whoops. Rat trap. Another one? But there sure are a lot of mouse traps, eh? Like they were saying, he thinks he has a rat problem, but they were saying he doesn't have a rat problem. Interesting. Doesn't seem like there's anything there. Oh, hold on. I'm sorry for yesterday. You were right. I overreacted. It's just that this isn't about me. It's about her. Everything I do, I do with her best interest in mind. I guess I've always believed that in an imperfect world, it's worth to, it's worth to strive for perfection. Ah, now I'm starting to sound like my father. I will work on my temper, though. Promise. We'll talk later. I love you. Again, it never says who those are from. Do you believe it's the wife, though? Anything in here? A lot of stuff, but nah, it looks like it's all just, just aesthetics. Oops, that's the wrong drawer. <clears throat> and again, just aesthetics. Oh, and that's locked. Okay. That will probably stay locked until much later, if I'm remembering correctly. Can we open this door? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe I don't want to do that just yet. I think the basement is where you're supposed to go. Let's go upstairs. Definitely looks pretty nice, except for some of these freaking paintings are just horrifying. What's that? Been working all night, don't wake me up. It's probably fine. Cane. Some of the cars. What? Some of the cars has a single livery option, just one? That's kind of crazy. 
Sorry, couldn't sleep. The leg's been acting up again. Figured I might as well do some work. I love you. Hmm. Galactic's grand opening in flames. Disastrous fire at the new department store leaves dozens fighting for their lives. Goodness. Is that a thing? Nope. It's just interesting that you can open up, like, all of this stuff. Whoops. A ring. Nice. And you can just kind of look at everything. Oh, I already looked at that. Can't look at that. Okay. And then there's the uh, gramophone. That was playing, but isn't playing anymore, apparently. It's fine. Yeah, that doesn't look good. Honestly, I don't remember really how to start the game. Jesus. Well, I didn't think I played that badly, but holy shit, I guess so. The piano's like, no, no more playing for you. You did bad. What? Who's that? I don't know what that was. Hello? Oh, it's that creepy baby faced man. Painting. God, that is the worst painting in the game. Well, not the worst in the whole entire game, but it is the worst for now, at least. God, it's horrible looking. You got anything in here? Doesn't look like it. it does look like there's an interesting... Yep, there's a key. Which I think is probably to the office or whatnot. My dear friend... Let me ask you one simple question. Have you completely lost your goddamn mind? I know you're going through some rough times right now, I really do. But that's why I have agreed to let you do those illustrations in the first place. For old time's sake. I even deliberately gave you a trivial task because I expected Little Red Riding Hood to be something you can draw in your sleep. What I didn't expect is to get this demented nightmare fuel you submitted for a kid's bedtime story. There is no way in hell I'm using this, and I already regret agreeing to a payment in advance. Please get your shit together. Your old pal, Liam Brickstone, Whispered Tale Publishing House. Mm-hmm. So our artist friend is having some troubles. I'm sorry, I'll make it up to you tonight. It's all about you and me. Let's make it special. You promised. There it is. Oh, jeez. Yeah, they're not kidding. That is certainly nightmare fuel. Jeez. Good lord. I mean, it's probably pretty realistic to... Grim Fairy Tales vision of uh, Red Riding Hood. It was not a happy story in any way, shape, or form. Is this. What is that? That's not the stairway. This is another place. Good. Locked. It's just all going to be a lot a lot of exploring. Actually, this game is kind of a glorified walking simulator in a way. It's not... I, I don't think it has monsters that are going to kill you, if I remember correctly. I think it's just about learning and exploring and stuff. And there are some puzzles, if I remember correctly. That's pleasant. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a toy soldier. Looks a little beaten up. Mm-hmm. Children's clothes, trains. Somebody like trains. 
Somebody liked art. There was some crayons in there. Lots of blocks. A little picture. Kinda creepy. Not as creepy as it gets, though. This is this is still just normal. This isn't the surreal nightmare that this game becomes. Not quite. We're not there yet. My cat went berserker mode again. <laughs> Tell your cat not to do that. Gosh, our cat does that all the time, too. Her name is Voxel. She goes absolutely crazy. Sometimes. Oh, that's locked. Good. It's probably for the best, because that looks like a nightmare. I don't even know if you can run in this game. I guess you can kind of sprint a little bit. I guess we'll go down in the basement. Seems like it's the next thing I'm supposed to do. Wow, it's so dark. Can't see a damn thing. Freaking rats. Thought they said I didn't have a rat infestation. It sure sounded like rats to me. A uh, report card. Hmm. Wonder why the kid was excused from PE. I almost never got excused from PE. I hated PE. The worst. What the hell's this stuff? Is this melted candles? It's locked. Well, what the hell is this key for? Oh, it's for my office. Duh. I'm not supposed to be down here. What was I thinking? Can I even get out of here? Is it even possible? I think so. I think this is the stairway. Yeah, there's the stairway. Good lord, that's dark. Duh, this is the key to the office. Doy. There we go. Come on. Open up. There we go. Okay, now we're about to start the game. This is the hub of sorts, I would say, the office. Oh god. Oh my god, that is a lot of freaking paintbrushes. Just an amalgamation of paintbrushes. I'm just gonna warn you too, this game is going to get really odd. And it does deal with some some heavy What's the word that I'm thinking of? Heavy I mean, it's kind of like storylines. There's a word that I'm... Uh, topics, there we go. It does deal with some heavy topics, so... You have been warned. All of a sudden, he eats wires, too? That's not good. Don't let him eat wires. I'm so sick and tired of us talking through these notes. We live in the same house, for God's sake. Come talk to me when you're done, before you go to sleep. Yeah, see, they talk through notes because he's so busy. Brings new meaning to the term starving artist, probably. Anything in these drawers? Nope. Okay. Well, I guess we're probably just about ready to start. At least Act 1, for the most part, because this is just exploring the house. Yeah, these will be locked. Thank god they're locked. <laughs> you don't want to see what's behind that yet. <laughs> ah, come on. Just trying to open this little drawer. There's nothing. What is this? Lost, you deserve it, finish it. Mm hmm. Well, 
I guess let's start, shall we? And that's how you start. Now that we have triggered this, we have now started the actual game. As you can see, door shut. Certainly wasn't shut before, was it? And now, uh, doesn't really look like the house anymore, does it? I don't remember this long hallway. This is where the surrealism comes in. Like I said, that's the way that you start the game. Now, hopefully I can remember all these freaking... Just out of reach. Jeez. Hopefully I can remember all these freaking puzzles that are going to be coming up. Hmm. Hmm. Something over here. Just a candle. And the flashlight still doesn't work. That's terrible. We can probably go this way. Yeah, see? This is literally where we came from, but now it's a new hallway. And again, this is only the beginning. Like, if you don't think it's scary yet, it's because it's just the beginning. It eases you into it quite nicely. Going in circles. It is a very narrative kind of driven game, and it does kind of leave stuff up to your own interpretation. Dear sir and madam, we must kindly, albeit strongly, urge you to keep your voices down during the night. Your marital problems, while regrettable, are a private matter and should remain that way. They are certainly of no concern to us, and especially our children. Please consider that not everyone is a freelance artist. Some of us have to get up early and work for a living. We need our sleep. We must also warn you that if things continue the way they are now, we will be forced to call the police. Sincerely, you are very tired neighbors. Poor neighbors. Wait, it's still the same game? What, this one? Yeah, this is still Layers of Fear. This is still the exact same game, it's just now I have actually started the game. Because in the beginning, you can just look around the mansion. Once you take that cloth off the painting, that's when you start the game. And now it's basically, like I said, it's basically just a glorified walking simulator. Ooh, hold on a second. Well, that's definitely going to need a code. Let's see if we can find that. It's got to be in this room somewhere, right? Whoops. Oh, no, it's just, just aesthetics. Here? Nope, just a bunch of paint. Well, where am I going to find that code, then? Oh, hold on. Uh, nope, nothing there. It's pretty neat that you can, like, explore everything, though. Creepy. Oh, hey. 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 Thank God. Uh, huh. Well, there's the code. 548. Thank you. Appreciate it. So five or eight. I do believe that's different every single time too. You can't just like memorize it. The past holds back. What? The past holds back. Look closer. The thought alone. The most beautiful piece of art doesn't have my name on it is killing me. So, will you marry me? So that was him proposing to his wife. And see, now this door exists. Never existed before. Still says Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. It does. You might have to refresh. You might have to refresh, because it says that I'm playing Layers of Fear for me. But I think it probably takes a refresh to get the uh, the ticker to refresh. 
Because I, I named this one How Many Layers Does Fear Have? Because it's called Layers of Fear. <laughs> I was like, I figured that might be a clever thing. You've been snooping around my workshop again for the last time. You are not allowed in that room. Even if the door happens to be open, I forbid it. This is your last warning. Next time you'll have to look for a new job. That, I believe, was the uh, note to the maid. Oops. Oh, those are those. I see. Doesn't appear to be anything in there. Okay. Something is creaking. Oh, it's this rocking chair. Rocking all by itself. And now it stopped. Okay. That is probably totally normal. Well, I waited when stream started. Maybe that's why? Like I didn't close the game? Yeah, all you should have to do, I think, is just refresh the stream. Just click the refresh button and you should be good. It should show it. Either that or just don't worry about it. Just know that it says how many layers does fear have and then it just says layers of fear gameplay. That's literally what I decided to name it. I just like being able to cut the stream and then um, and then come back. That way Twitch can make me another thing. I'm not even going to look at it. I'm not even going to look at it. I'm not going to look at the creepy doll. I think I have to, though, if I remember correctly. I just... I want to look at everything but the creepy doll. Can this globe be played with? Yay. Look at that. Rotate it. Nice. Alright, fine. We'll look at the creepy doll. It's the only way to go on, I think. Huh. I didn't even look at it. Oh, I fell. I think. Ouch. <laughs> Hey, there's light over here. Thank God. What? Ah. Big creepy face. I don't like it. Hey, a light. Nice. Ah. Jeez. No. No, thank you. What else is in here now that it's all lit up? Oh, there's a note. My love, even though you have not been born yet, I can already feel your presence. It's simply amazing. I just can't believe how lucky I am. A year ago, all I had was talent and ambition. Now, against all odds, I have a career, a loving husband, and you. I have never been a deeply religious person, I guess. What other people look for in a sermon, I found in perfecting my art. But now, I can't help but feel like there's a higher power watching over me. They once told me that I would never succeed as a musician. Now I'm playing sold-out concerts at some of the most prestigious venues in the country. They also said I had a difficult character, and that I would never find a soulmate. Guess again. Finally, a doctor once told me that I would never be able to have children of my own, and yet here you are, within me. I am quite possibly the happiest woman in the world. I love you so much. Why was that note there? Had I ever seen that note? Because I don't even know if I ever came back into this room. Because honestly, you don't have to come back in this room because it already opens up the stairway. You could have totally missed that. Bro, when you repair the mod car in CMS, you get 200,000 plus money? What? One YouTuber repaired a mod car and got like 700k, 800k? That's kind of ridiculous. That's kind of broken. That's one of the reasons I don't like mods is because they kind of break the game. Or they can. Pull this lever. What the hell did that lever do? Oh, it's opening a door very slowly. 
Gotcha. Not another freaking baby. It's the same place, except for now, this picture's on the wall. And now the baby's in the antlers. Probably fine. Right? Probably fine. Sure, it's just fine. Wait. Wasn't there stuff to open in here? I want to see if there's something that I'm missing. That does not sound good. Does not... What? What was that? Oh. Oh, they were already still open. Never mind. Mm-hmm. Paint deep lies. Oh wait, what's that? Now a tiny bit to the left. Yes, just like that. Hold that pose. I want to get all those lovely curves just right. <laughs> Creepy. And he found the McLaren F1 GT that cost 5.6 million. Damn. That is pretty crazy. Did I miss something over here too? No, it doesn't seem like it. And you can't go backwards, it won't let you. You always can only go forwards, unless it really needs you to go backwards. Which can sometimes happen. But like I said, this first act is pretty easy. Pretty straightforward. What's that? Gross. Screeching arsonists, echoing screams, they stop at nothing, I won't go down easy. Creepy, 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 creepy. What else is in here? I do love the aesthetics of this game. Absolutely fantastic. I hear freaking rats. Why do I hear rats? Uh, they said there was no rats here. A teddy bear. Freaking rats, man. There's no rats. I can hear them, but I don't see them. Huh? Jeep! Holy crap. Okay. Probably fine. Sure. Mm hmm Oh, this is a nice room. Nice and lit up, at least. Well, somewhat. I don't see anything there. Anything over here? Just books. And... Oh, what's that? No, it's just aesthetics. Thought that box might have had something in it. Oh, there's something. Hey, in regards to your previous letter, I'm sure it's nothing to be too concerned about. Women tend to get weird after having a baby. Hormone imbalances and the like. When we had our first, I remember Valerie got the blues real bad. I would ask her what she wanted for lunch, and she'd just burst into tears. Just be there for her, and I'm sure it's going to be fine. Now, I know I promised not to rush you, and by all means, enjoy your well-deserved time off. But just to let you know, I'm getting phone calls up the yin-yang. Yin-yang? I'm pretty sure it's yin-yang. That's what it's supposed to be. Commissions left and right. You're a hot ticket, my friend. Maybe we should strike the, the iron while it's hot. But of course, the family comes first. 
your friend and agent, Thomas Caldwell. Hmm? That's my lost pet? What do you mean? What's your lost pet? Okay, I think that's pretty much it. Yep, don't like that. Don't, don't like that. Hello? It's about time for us to talk, don't you think? I mean, I've seen you in my house so many times, and yet I could never find the courage to face you directly. Not until now. Huh? Don't like the crying girl. Am I supposed to go right or left? It doesn't matter. Well, not right. Guess it's gonna be left. And all of a sudden the crying just stops. Oh wait, no, it's still there. fine. Hey, look, it's the kitchen. This looks familiar. We've been here. Can't remember if anything changes. Oh my god, those things swing out so slowly. Where'd that come from? What the hell? What are all those sounds? That's one of the things about this game. It's supposed to give you, like, a... It's supposed to be, like, a psychological kind of horror game. I also do have Layers of Fear 2, which I'll probably also be streaming. Can't open it. Hmm... Does it literally just want me to go through the door that I just came in? No, it's locked. Hmm, that must mean there gotta be some kind of a puzzle here. Something. Uh, kind of all quieted down, that's nice. Jesus. I don't remember that. <laughs> Holy crap. Ew. It's probably fine. Look at all the freaking garlics and fruits and stuff and vegetables. That's kind of cool. That's a fruit ninja now. <laughs> oh wait, what's this? First, I looked for a canvas. Not just any canvas. I had to find a knife. Not one of those bread ones. It needed to be as sharp as a razor. So I used a razor, in fact, and then carefully flayed the skin. Booze helped keep my hand steady. Oh, dear God, no. Oh, I'm remembering this now. Starting to remember. It's very disturbing. I'm just gonna warn... Warn people right now. It is an incredibly disturbing game. By the way, we have now just completed Act 1. And I found 
A note, I think. Just one. Shapeless Dreams. As you can tell, we have completed Act 1 because we are back in the... I think these are collectibles, I believe. We are back in the office. Deep breaths. Remember, you're a professional. It's just the first few strokes. Then you're over the hump. What's so hard about it? These things probably still don't open. You can barely even see it. But I know they're here because we've already been in the office. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, what's this? Eight even now, lost, you deserve it, finish it. See, it's starting to piece together this page of whatever this note is as well. By the way, that is also how we now get some of these things unlocked. You can tell there's three, there's six doors, so there's six chapters, I believe, if, I'm, if I remember correctly. And then there's that. First, I looked for a canvas, not just any canvas. Oh, it was exactly what he said there. Pretty gross. Don't like it. Shapeless dreams. I'm pretty sure I have found all these notes. I probably won't find them in this stream, more than likely. I probably won't find whatever's supposed to be in here either. Oh, well, there, there's a picture. A picture. So apparently it's a photo album. Oh, and there's notes. Maybe it's just important stuff. Is there a better way? Oh, there is a better way to do this. Good. You can just push uh, A and D. And just flip the pages. Much easier than wiping with the mouse. And that's it. Hmm. I see. The end? No, well, that's the end of Act 1. Now, since we've already painted this horrifying whatever the hell that is. Now, this is what triggers Act 2. So now, remember, we just came through this door and it was, what, the kitchen, I think, last time? Now, it's not the kitchen anymore. It is again, once this, this hallway again, that always leads... There is always in the beginning of the axe or something? Oh, good. Oh, good. Is this the one with the elevator? Fantastic. That's always a good time. Okay. Okay. I think I got it locked. Now we will go... This way? This way? I guess I'll go to the right. It doesn't want me to go to the left. This reminds me so much of Layer Sephir 2. Probably fine, right? Good thing we're not getting off on any of those floors. Man, those floors look like a nightmare. Yay. See, we get to get off on a normal floor. Now, if I remember correctly, I don't think you can die in this game. Like in Soma, you can actually die. Whereas in this game, I don't think you can. I think it just tries to scare you all the time. That's locked. What? Oh. Nothing. Dang. And again, the flashlight doesn't work. Locked. Locked. Yeah, most of the time, everything's going to be pretty much locked. Because it wants you to go one way and one way only. Wait, this is locked too? What the hell? You can't just have all the doors locked. 
How am I supposed to progress? Oh, this door's open now. Good. Hello? This was locked. Creepy. Creepy. Also creepy. Oh, hey, a note. Dear Sir, while I can certainly understand that you are upset, and I have nothing but sympathy for you, for your wife and yourself, I must categorically state that I do not wish to receive any further correspondence from you in this matter. Any skin graft procedure is extremely complicated and inherently in associated with the risk of failure. Having stated that, I assure, or I assure you that me and my colleagues at St. Anne have made every effort to ensure a positive outcome for your wife. Personally speaking, I believe we have done the best job possible considering the extent of tissue damage. You are, of course, entitled to your own opinion, and I can certainly understand your disappointment. What I do not understand is how you seem to think writing hateful letters to me or my fellow doctors will ameliorate? No idea what the hell that word is. The situation. As I've already stated, I can certainly understand you've been under a lot of stress as, as of late, and thus I will not press charges if you refrain from any future correspondence. Let me make it absolutely clear that I will not tolerate any further threats aimed at my staff, my family, or myself. If you wish to seek psychological help, I can have my assistant provide contact information for several specialists who would be more than com competent to help you get through these hard times. With regards and best wishes for you and your wife, William H. Green, M.D. Hmm. So something happened to the wife. Sounds like she got burned. I am imagining we're probably going to figure out what's happening here. Oh, good. Good. It completely changed while I was in there. That's great. Mm -hmm. What about the other doors? Oh, there's the elevator. Oh, that's the one with the key. Okay. So that's the one where it's going to want us to go, I think. So let's check this out. Why did you stop? That dude was perfect. Honey, please, just a little longer. At least until I finish painting this one part. Oh, don't make me beg. <laughs> I ain't scared for nothing. It's not that scary when you watch the stream, sometimes. It can be. This game is very good with its jump scares, too. Okay, the picture looks like it kind of burned away. Maybe a little more hints. So basically, I think the whole idea of the game is trying to piece together the story and figure out what happened. Wait, hold on. What's this? Oh, cool. I love the fact that you can just, like, open all these worthless doors and stuff. Hello? Is that an attic? Ugh, that doesn't seem good. Mm-hmm. Clothing. Locked. It's gonna make me go to the attic, it seems like. Alright, fine. Let's do it. I don't like attics. There's a fire. Very big fire. Why is there a fire? Oh, a door. Didn't go. My god, it's so dark. Oh, dear Christ. Not. Not the fucking goddamn distorted baby sounds. I don't know what the hell that was, but it was terrifying. Why does there have to be distorted baby sounds? Also, I wonder, was I supposed to go in that locked door? Was that not progress? Damn it. Yeah, I was probably supposed to go in that locked door with the key. Or maybe later, I don't know. 
Usually you don't come back to where you came from, though. Usually. Why is this open? Hmm. Hey, a rat! I thought they said I didn't have rats. I actually saw a rat that time. Make up your mind. Hmm. Hmm. A door? Door that actually opens. Okay. And over here is... Well, that's not a door. I thought that was a door. And then that's just the one that says make up your mind. That's gonna be locked. The Resident Evil 6 is really scary game. I don't know. I don't think Resident Evil 6 is really that scary. It was kind of poorly made. Because isn't 6 supposed to be the one that's like the worst of the Resident Evils? Not Resident Evil 6 Biohazard, I think is what it's called. And everybody ended up hating it. Oh. The hell was that all about? I have no idea. I don't even know what happened. It's so dark. Okay, that opens. This does not open. Okay. That was a rat. A dead rat. Ugh. Creepy. Do not like it. Clock. Man, I wonder if I should turn the gamma up, because good god is this dark. Like, I understand this is how it's supposed to be played, but... Damn. For a stream, like, nobody's gonna be able to see anything. Okay. I think that's pretty much it. Didn't seem like there was anything in those drawers. Yay. Well, I mean, this isn't dark. This is nice lighting. I like this room. Well, I did like it. The hell is with this warped mirror? I'm not sure. It is a mirror, right? What does that say? Undone? Oh, it's through the looking glass, of course. Oh my god. Well, that doesn't look good. Undone. It can't be undone. Can't be undone, I think. Uh, okay. So, he probably did something that can't be undone. That seems pretty obvious. Oh, good. Definitely looks very normal. Dog barking? Okay. Well, it was a pleasant picture. Okay, DJ. Wait, 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 wait. Got a collar there. Honey, remember how you said it would be nice to have a pad so the baby could have someone to play with? Well, I just bought us a dog. <laughs> Aww. Okay, weird. The stream keeps loading. Is that a problem with your internet or my internet? I am definitely dropping shitloads of frames. Just shitloads of frames. Like 35,000 frames already. 
like I said, if my dad is not going to talk to the internet service provider, I'm, I guess I'm going to have to do it myself. Because this is my livelihood here. And they need to fix it. Because something went wrong. You want this as well? I have no idea what that's all about. See, sometimes you can just find cool stuff like this. A once great artist something new painting laughed out of the galleries. I wonder if that's me. Again, it has been a long time since I played this, so I don't really 100% remember everything. Which is a good place to be in. It's a good place to be to not remember everything. Because then it's kind of like a fresh experience, sort of. But I do remember some parts. Good. Hello, creepy faces. That guy looks at least normal. Mm hmm. It's probably fine. Please? I cannot open this door. Oh, there we go. Okay. Hello? That does not look like a person. Mm-hmm. It's the same painting. Jeez. Like I said, sometimes the jump scares can get you. Because you just, you don't know what's gonna happen. Right? Like, the reason Five Nights at Freddy's doesn't work on me is because you know what's gonna happen with Five Nights at Freddy's. You're like, I literally know something's gonna jump out at me and that's what's gonna happen. But in this, you never know what is gonna happen. Maybe this is the way it wants me to go. Oh yeah, I forgot to see, or forgot that I have Challenger to restore? Nice. Damn it. This was the way I needed to go, because I heard the door close. Damn it. Is that a fan blade that just came? Like, whizzing by my head? Damn. This house is so violent. It also kind of reminds me of the uneasiness of the, uh... That, like, new Resident Evil demo thing. That never did become a thing, apparently. Because Kojima decided to do the weird, freaky delivery game. Instead of a new Resident Evil like he promised everybody. Oh, hey, this door opened. Nice. Oh. Well, I was gonna open it myself, but jeez. It's not. What's that? Key? Ah, a key. Perfect. What the hell? What was that? What did I just do? Can't even see anything! Oh, there we go. Finally. Finally some light. What the hell? What in the hell is that noise? More light, please. That sound is. I don't understand what that sound is. It doesn't sound like something recognizable. Oh. April 6th. Found this little collection of empty bottles this morning. I reacted badly. I know it's hard for him too, but god damn it, he should know better. With a small child in the house, that's just irresponsible. That's probably drinking. With a small child in the house, that's definitely not a good idea. 
Okay, I think I found everything in this room. Now I think we can leave. Hello? There's paint. Aha! There was a key door. I'll get a good, I think. Maybe? Don't like the whispers? Do not like the whispers. Oh, hey! A record. Nice. There. Let's put that on. Prosthesis snatchers, insatiable bastards, can't afford a new one. Why the damn leg? Okay. Oh, what's this? I needed a jar and a plastic tubing. I siphoned gas before. I knew how it was done. I stuck the tube in a vein and sucked on it until blood filled my mouth. Then put the tube in the jar and it just kept coming. The taste of copper haunted me the entire night. Why didn't I think of a syringe? Creepy. That would be our second item. I don't remember this game being so quick. Maybe it is, though. And how do we leave? I don't think there's a door anywhere, unless... No, this was the door, but now it's all broken. How do I leave if there's no door? I mean, there's cabinets, but that's... That's different. That's not an actual door. They're just cabinets. Where's my door game? Oh, do you want me to do this again? Wait, 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 wait. There we go. Oh god, that was much worse. Maybe I should put it to here? That was so much worse. Yeah, that wasn't good either. Maybe a little bit lower? Ugh. This thing is really hard to wind. Could you not be reversed? Is that a thing that you can do? Like, not... not be reversed? Please? Hmm... I think there's supposed to be something you're supposed to do to fix this room. That's the puzzle. But for some reason, I can't seem to figure out where... where the thing is. I do remember this being tricky before, too, I think. Like, it's a tricky one to figure out. Because this is the door, but it's obviously broken, so you have to, like, fix the room, I think. I thought it had something to do with this button. Wait. 
Wait, can I? No, I can't. I can't actually rotate it the other way either. This is me rotating the other the mouse the other way. It's still the same. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm sure there's supposed to be something you're supposed to do. I mean, they really wouldn't want you to do this, would they? I mean, it doesn't do anything. Wow, am I already stuck? Is that badly? I can't get out of this room. Unless there's something... Oh, there it is. I knew there was something on the back. There we go. Just had to find it. Now that should make it so that it's not reversed anymore. I was watching the stream and checked on the game on the phone. Or checked out the game on the phone. Something all around, something all around, something all around. So funny. Stumbling here and there, stumbling everywhere, and I must declare. See? Right now the room is fixing itself. And when she bumped my nose, I fell, and when I rose, I fell the shame. Stumbling all around, stumbling all around, stumbling all around. What do you mean by checked out the game on the phone? You mean this game? If I remember correctly, I got this game for free on Steam. I actually also got um, Layers of Fear 2 free on um, Epic, too. Now I think we're finally done. There we go. Back at the hub of sorts. I can't stand seeing you like this. You're not well. You were sweating and shaking all night, and now there you are, locked in your workshop as usual. This whole tortured artist nonsense has got to stop. Now, oh, look at that. We can kind of see ourselves a little bit. A little bit. There's that rat thing again. Ugh, I'm gonna have to paint more too. There's more to this now. Eat even now, lost, alone, you deserve it. A grave for you, finish it. I checked if it's out on phone. Oh, that car X street. Oh, would it be a mobile game? I know one of these amalgamations of the painting is the worst one. I don't think this is the worst one. But it's still pretty creepy and pretty disgusting. And see, there's the blood. How much time do we have? We still have about two hours. That should be fine. I think we can just keep going. Hell, I might even be able to beat Layers of Fear in, in shorter than one stream. It's not really that long of a game. Like I said, it's basically all just about psychological horror. Whereas, so was Soma, but Soma is a longer game, for sure. My god, there sure are a lot of things you can play with in this game. Look at this, you can just open everything. This is... probably normal. I'm sure, that's definitely not... not normal. Okay, this is probably the door they want me to take. Yep. That's a nice picture. That guy actually looks like a person. OK. 
Okay. Mm hmm. Also, probably normal. Definitely normal. I will let you know, too, the, uh, the surrealness of this and the fucked upness, it's, it's gonna get worse as we play. Worse and worse. Until we actually know the, uh, the actual full story. And once you know it, it ain't gonna be good. It's not gonna be a happy-go-lucky story, that's for sure. What was that? What is that? Something... I think it's creator's block. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. There we go. Just have to keep rotating until you find the way out. I believe. Pretty sure that's what you're supposed to do. Um, I thought that was gonna let me in like a mirror. Okay. Oh! Holy shit, I guess I'm in that room. Thought I was looking at it through the thing. June, don't forget. Don't forget. New moon. Wednesday 9th of June? Don't know. Don't know what that's all about. Nope, nope, that's not a letter. Mm hmm Oh, the window's gone now. It just doesn't exist. That's strange. Jeez. Didn't expect that. Tell you that, didn't expect that. You know, I really should expect the unexpected in these kind of games, but I just never do. Oh, a light. Nice. Lights are always good, and few and far between. More notes today, even worse than before. The sad part is, I agree with every word. Okay. I don't know what that's all about. Mm -hmm. We'll probably notice a lot of these rooms are going to keep repeating as well. And that is again part of the psychological twist of the game. That is a lot of books. Who needs that many books? So many books. Oops, that opens out. Not in. And... Dear Christ. That is just absolutely horrifying. Do not like it at all. Something. Cretans, ignorance. Do not like that at all. I don't know what the fuck that is, but it's creepy as hell. Do, do, do. Guess you want me to go this way. Nope, oh, it's locked. Shit. There's something in this room that I'm supposed to do that I haven't done. I can't wait. 